Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how the rows and columns are used to control uh, individual pins in each cell. I'm, I'm using the bottom half of the display over here. Uh, this is uh, I think the fifth line and uh, I'm, I'll show it to you from the reverse. This is dot one of the fifth line, dot two, dot three, four, five, six. Okay, these this is the ends of the column actuators. The, col uh, the first column, the second column, that is the first column of cell 1, second column of cell 1, first column of cell 2, second column of cell 3, I mean of cell 2. So there will be column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4 basically, that's the way we... So if you look carefully at the end over here, you just see a little bit of movement, just about half a millimeter. That is latched and open open and latched so you just have just very little movement just half a millimeter is enough to latch and open it. so basically when it's open and you you look it all the pins get kicked up so I've got all the pins up in the cells here I can drop them all by just just these, these are the row actuators row one two three drop cell drop okay I'll do it one at a time now one two three drop one drop two drop two, oh, drop two and three drop together sorry so that's the way they do but now when you when they're latched it's different so what happens is when they're latched i'm just just setting them in a minute the latch shut latch all the all the all are latch shut now i'm, t I'm talking about only the first three three cells that you can see so when they latch sh shut, when, even when you trigger the row actuator, nothing happens. But from cell 4 onwards, the first three cells are latched shut. You can see there's a gap here, it indicates that they latch shut. But this, there's no gap. So that is cell 4 onwards. And cell 4, if you can see now, it's, it pins up. So you can watch, you can look at the pins on cell four. Cell four and they just jump up. The whole lot are jumping up. So okay, so now suppose we want pin one and to be actuated in, in in this fifth cell and maybe the line above it. We enable that column, we set pin one, and maybe okay the bottom pin over here we want to set that fellow also. Set him. We latch them shut and then now when we release the row actuators they are they retain their position so you've got pin one over here and I think the bottom pin over there these two pins are the only two that are they're latched shut I'm just trying to show you can you see them you can just about see them there okay so even when you use these other things you can see there's no 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 activity on these cells they are latched shut but all the rest have they are latched open so you can see you can trigger all the cell pins so but even when that start thing when uh, when you remove the actuation these two pins were latched in their positions that they were set now we want to do it with the second column so we'll momentarily open the second column we open the second column over here this is open that is when the gap is shut over at this end it indicates that it's open you can suppose I want to set this first cell on the second column I would trigger the first cell on the second column and maybe the last cell on the last column over here on cell 2 or cell 1 rather the last cell that's the second column of the first cell here and here we've got these two pins coming up and we latch them and release them now no matter once they're latched no matter what you do with the row actuators there's no no activity so you can see that the the information as you you can create any set of pin combination by row and column addressing as long as the column is done a whole column at a time for all five lines in this case so of this 10 line display it's all 10 lines at a, at a time so that column you enable it and you set all the data and the the entire column then 
once it's latched shut you can play around with the row actuators for the other cells nothing happens to the so watch all the actuators no 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 cause no 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 effect on the, the first cell see if you look at them they retain the information that they were set in these two the, f the first this is the first cell here and here these two so if you want to release them normally the moment you uh, enable a column uh, latch you or you you set a, co a column latch it basically releases the pins to let them drop by gravity to zero so the moment we do that the pin should drop to zero that is when the row actuator is not open so what's happened now they've all dropped to zero so that's basically how this works and as you can see there's no I'm going to go back and zoom out as much as possible and slowly flip the device over to show you that there's absolutely nothing underneath it's just a cavity over here that uh, these are little boxes that are used to mount it at an ob oblique angle uh, yeah, so that I could show you what this cavity is meant for some electronics that would go into the device and uh, as you can see the slides are very thin they are just a half a millimeter thick over here that's a slide guide over there and the column slides are as you can see in the other videos they are very thin little things and those are the row actuators one end of them and then the other end of the display you get the other end of the row actuators so that's basically what this device is about.